Hey guys, in today's video, we'll see how to create this handler. This video will have three steps as usual. First, we'll create the skin and set up the camera. Step 2. Create and set up all the lights in the skin. Finally, we will adjust all the materials. So, to start, let's create a group for the bottle, making your skin more organized. Let's start by creating a background and adjust it so that it's behind the object. Now, we will create a floor for the skin. Make sure that the planes are crossing so that there are no gaps between them. To create the rings of light, we use the circle, and then just click and drag into a skin. Let's create a copy and adjust its scale. Now, with the edit spline, we'll join the objects with the attach. Returning to the circle, and in steps, we use the value of 12. We'll change the shape to rectangle and adjust the position in the skin. Once that is done, we will adjust the thickness of the rings. Now, with the model, we will change the rotation of the object, giving a better angle of the bottle for our hander. So, now we will create the camera. We use a Corona cam. Again, click and drag to create the camera. Here, I will change the layout of the view to two options. This way, we will have the camera and an overview of the skin next to it. We adjust the position of the camera and we will also change the resolution of the final image. I will change it to custom. We will adjust the camera a little more and also the position of the object. Returning to the plane we created for the floor, we will change the numbers of lines to create the slated effects on this floor. Add an edit poly to the plane and select the edges of the center to create a slashed division between the piece. To do this, we use the extrude, adjusting the width and size of the separation of the piece. It's worth remember that the material for the bottle was created in Substance Painter and exported to the 3ds Max. In order for the video not to be too long, we will not cover Substance Painter in this content. Now let's create the lights. Let's use Corona Light and change the format to rectangle. First, I will create the main lights. These lights will be in the front of the object. We will position it behind the camera. Now we will create a light above the object. This light will be a fill light, adjusting the rotation and position of the light. I will create a copy of this light with the mirror and position it behind the bottle. This light will be used to illuminate the background a little better. I will create a new copy of the lights to fill the other side of our background. With the front light selected, we will create a copy by holding down Shift K and position it behind the model. This light will be bounce light for the background. Adjust its size so that it's not too large in relation of the object. I will create a copy of this light and use this new light as a clipping light for the model. To finish with the lights, I will create a new light from one that has already been created. I will use different stones in the side lights to change the color temperature of the model a little.
Now that we have all the lights created, let's see us previews of what we have created. Let's go to render setup and select the corona for the render and click on start interactive. Ok, now let's set up the lights. I will rename this light to front light. For the light behind the bottle, I will adjust the intensity to 200 and for temperature I will set off the volume to 4000. For the light behind it, I will change the intensity to 45 and the temperature to 3000. For the side lights, I will change the name to red light. The intensity I will be 15 and we will change its color to a red tone. The light opposed to this one, I will leave the intensity value at 0.1. And in the color, I will leave a shade of purple. We will also change the name to purple lights. This light above will be our background light. I will adjust the intensity to 20. The light above the model I will be our main light. I will leave the intensity at 1. Again, let's preview the light. Here we can see that it's working correctly. Now let's hide the lights in the hinder. To do this, let's go here in your purple light and uncheck the visible directly option and also occlude other lights. Let's rename this plane to floor. We'll select the clipping light, go to object excluded, we'll select the floor and move to the other side. This way, we'll remove the reflection of the slice on the floor of our skin. I'll also uncheck the visible directly in occluded or the realize options. Let's do the same with the back light. I will rename it to background light. In here, we we'll see that these lights are no longer visible on our camera and the lights behind the model we have no influence on the ground. We will sample position this last light a little higher, removing it from the camera's field of view. Here we we'll see that everything is going well. Once that is done, let's create the ring light. Let's create the lighting using a material. We use the Corona light material. Let's rename the light and adjust its temperature. I will leave it in a golden tone to make our models stand out more. Here, we can see how it is at the moment. We need to adjust its intensity. Let's go back to the material and adjust the intensity according to what we need. I believe that value of 15 is enough. You can see that the light is working well. Now, let's create the materials for the floor and the wall. For this, I use the native materials from the Corona library. Let's open the material library. For the floor, I use the wooden material. Let's open the material editor and just click and drag the desired material. I will apply the material to the floor. Let's adjust the size of the map. 
by default it's coming very large size, so let's reduce it to a 0.5. Here you see that the texture is working. Let's apply an UVW map modifier to rotate the texture. We rotate it and reduce the scale so that it's better distributed on the floor. On the wall, we will apply a shell to give it thickness and we will also create a material for the wall. Let's go to Legacy Material. I will rename it to Wall and apply it to the model. We'll choose a neutral color, very desaturated. Ok, now that we have the skin materials configured. Let's see how our render is looking. Everything is going well so far. Let's explore the bloom and glare here in the render. Just enable it and here in size we we'll increase its alloy and see how the light behaves. We also increase the bloom intensity to 2 and we will see that the lights already brings a more interesting effect to the model. Here, I see that a light is crossing the floor of the skin. Let's solve this. We return the lights and see that the background light needs to be unchecked for the occluder other light option. I'm going to render again to check it was fixed. Ok, everything is working fine. Now, let's Generate our lights for light mix. Let's go to render setup and go to light mix setup. Click on generated and that's it. I'm going to increase the resolution of our render to create a final render of our object. I'm going to check this option to maintain the image proportion and we are going to set the resolution 2500 here. I'm going to open the interactive render again. And well, see that the lights are now available for configuration in Lash Mix. I'm going to do a very simple balance of the lights, just adjusting some light. Now, let's go to Tone Mapping. Here, we are going to increase the contrast and increase the expose of the lights a little more. In this stage of the video, I'm going to make some general adjustment to skin. Camera adjustments, model position and better position between all the elements of your skin. This step is essential for you to have better harmony between the elements. Make the adjustments until you find a better composition between the entire skin and the object. Remember this when creating your handles. Adjustments to the lights to bring a better contour to the model. I'm going to adjust the floor material, making the veins of the material a little more evident. To finish, let's enable the denoise in the render setup and reduce the noise level to 5. And let's go to final render. Here, we have the final render. You can still explore the image a little more by changing the lights and tones to make the model more refined. Remember, that the modern tutorial for this bottle is in the video description.
the rose today contents i hope you enjoy it bye subscribe to the channel it's very important